Okay, on problem number three, and I, I have to be honest, what makes this one more difficult for students, and myself included, is the numbers are larger, right? 270 is a bigger number. You know, it's the other two problems, pretty simple. However, the strategy still remains the same, all right? So what I'm going to do is go to the whiteboard, and I'll write the problem down for you. What is it going to be, 6x? plus 29y equals 274. All right, so what am I going to do over here is I'm going to look for the GCF again. The GCF between 6 and 29. Well, lo and behold, that's 1, and 1 divides 274, so we're good to go. All right, so let's keep going. What am I going to do now? I guess I'd solve for y, right? So 29y equals 274 minus 6x, y equals 274 minus 6x over 29. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to make the arithmetic a little bit easier for me. I'm going to factor out 2. And what do you get over there? Well, you're going to get, let's see what you get. You get 137. Let me make sure that's true. Uh, yep, and then you get minus 3x. This makes it a little bit easier for me to do. Then you might wonder, you know, what am I going to do next? I need to find an x, <coughs> one that's positive, right, that would make this thing divisible by 29, all right? So, you know, I think you probably know the multiples of 29, right? But the bottom line is I'm stabbing in the dark at this point. And someone says, what number are you going to choose at? And, but you know, let me write some multiple of 29 down. So, so 29... Right, another multiple of 29 would be what? Um, by the way, I know 29 is not supposed to be 2. That's why I'm looking for multiple of 29 only. So let's see, 29, you get 58, right? And what's another multiple of 29? Well, 60 and 27, 87. And then, you know, if you keep going, add another 29 on. Well, what do you get? We did 1, we did 2, we did 3, 4. That's 80 and 36, 116. I think you get the idea, all right? 116, 87, 58, 29. These are things I'm, I'm kind of like looking for. And kind of, you know, looking at it, I'm going to think, what, what would be a nice one that would work? Let's think. Let's see, 7 times 3 is 21, right? And let me write that down, 137. And again, we're trying 7. Right? I'm, I'm seeing if I can hit one of these numbers. 21. And what do you get? 1. Uh, I'm, by the way, w when I do that, I'm subtracting. Maybe I should have said that. Uh, 6. Well, you get it. So 7 works. So 7 is my first hit. Let's go through that. And what do you get? You get y equals 2. Well, let's see, 137 minus 21 is 116 divided by 29. 29 goes into 116 four times, so we get 8. Now, someone says, do you need to go and hunt for other ones? No, I can just generate them now. So I'm going to erase this over here. I'm going to erase my baby arithmetic over here. I'm kind of done with it. What I'm going to do is put the slope down. That's all I'm going to do. So what's the slope going to be? Let's write this over here. You know, y, whoops, sorry about that. 274 over 29 minus 6 over 29x. The only thing I'm looking at is this thing here now. That's all I'm looking at. So what do I get? That's a slope, which means the delta y, delta x, the delta y minus 6, the delta x is 29. Let's write this down. Minus 6, and this is 29. All right? So you know what minus 6 means. I'm going down by 6. So that would make this a 2. By the way, I don't want to continue that because this would become negative now. And they said positive, all right? Now let's do the 7. If you're 7, 29, you get 36. Now if you go in the other direction, instead of going down by 6, it go up by 6, it would be 14. But unfortunately, this would be negative if I went down 29. So I've only found 2. These are the two I found. 7, 8. We'll look at the key in a moment. And I found 36, comma, 2. So I'm going to commit to that. And the fact that committing to something, I could commit to a wrong answer. I want to look at it. Did they get 7, 8? They certainly did. 
Did they get 36.2? They certainly did. Am I checking that in the original system? No, but you could if you want to make sure that they're integers, all right? So again, first step, we did the GCF, then we saw for Y. I try to think of some easy number that's gonna work. Generally speaking, they're gonna be fairly simple to do, even if they're large numbers, by the way, all right? Then I use slope to get the other ones, and I'm looking for positive ones, thank you.